radioactive iodine therapy is a treatment that's used for many patients who've been treated for thyroid cancer. Usually the radioiodine treatment is given within a few weeks after surgical removal of the thyroid cancer, and it requires hospitalization normally for a 24 hour period. The purpose of the radioiodine treatment is to maximize the cure for thyroid cancer, which for most patients is very high in the region of 90%. Radioactive iodine treatment is a very interesting, clever treatment in some respects. Normally, we take in iodine in our diet and the thyroid gland converts the iodine into the hormone thyroxine. We can use that characteristic of the element to give a radioactive form of iodine, which is used to treat the cancer. The radioactive iodine is absorbed in the same way that you absorb iodine for your diet normally, goes into any residual thyroid tissue in your neck or into any thyroid cancer cells left after the surgery and hopefully the radiation will eradicate those. Radioiodine treatment is usually given as an inpatient treatment in the hospital. Patients typically come in on the morning of the treatment, they have some blood tests done and they take the iodine as a little capsule that they swallow by mouth, it's very straightforward. Once the iodine capsule has been administered then the body is emitting small amounts of radiation for the next few days. In the first few hours, the radiation level is quite high and therefore patients have to be hospitalized and usually this is just overnight. On the second day, a physicist will normally measure the radiation levels left in the body and as long as they are low enough for health and safety requirements, patients are able to go home the next day and that is the case in over 90% of patients. Radioactive iodine treatment is a cancer treatment which fortunately is free of most side effects. The patients have to be hospitalized, as I mentioned, because of the radiation which is inside their body for the first um, few days after treatment. Sometimes patients say that they can taste the iodine as it comes out in their saliva, like a metallic taste, and that can last for a few hours after the administration of the treatment. Many patients feel they, say a bit, uh, they feel a bit tired after the treatment, and some patients feel a bit nauseated in the first few hours, but usually this is very mild. After discharge from, from hospital on the second day, patients will be given instructions to avoid any radiation exposure to other people, so young children, anyone who's pregnant for the first four or five days after discharge. But in the short term, there are no side effects after going home. Because radiation is technically carcinogenic, in other words, radiation can cause a cancer in the future, there's been a lot of discussion as to whether this increases the risk of other cancers for patients treated for thyroid cancer. Most patients who are receiving this treatment are young women, they have a very good prognosis and may live for 20, 30, 40 years after the initial treatment. And most of the studies which have been done don't show a significant excess risk of the development of cancers afterwards, although theoretically this is a small risk. So the side effects of radioiodine treatment are relatively rare. Um, the occasional patient who does feel nauseated from the treatment can be treated with standard anti-sickness medication. The tiredness that is quite common after this treatment doesn't have any specific treatments, but usually will resolve within a few days after the treatment's finished. The purpose of radioiodine treatment after thyroidectomy for people who've had thyroid cancer is to eradicate any residual thyroid tissue left in the neck after surgery and to eradicate any thyroid cancer cells. The success rates are very good indeed. So most patients with thyroid cancer are young women um, with this condition, usually occurring between the age of 20 and 40 years. And the overall cure rates for thyroid cancer in that population is, is in excess of 90%. So the cure rate from the cancer is very high. In terms of the successful ablation of the thyroid tissue, um, the rates are very high, and only about 10% of patients have to go back and have a second treatment with radioiodine. 